This is the moment we bought an abandoned F-355 with a six-speed manual transmission. Oh! It had been sitting outside for over 10 years. It was rat infested and has destroyed paint. The car was left abandoned after the previous owner passed away. Now, unfortunately, this car sat for a little too long and needed major repairs. Since we got our hands on it, we restored the paint, pulled the engine, and finally got it to start. <laughs> So after seeing us trade a thousand dollar BMW all the way up to this Ferrari F355, Sunoco has challenged us yet again to debut the car in Miami during the F1 race weekend. And all of this is happening because Sunoco has officially announced a partnership with the stake F1 team Kick Sauber, and we are so excited to completely transform the Ferrari and debut it in Miami. Now we cannot bring the car looking just like this, so first order of business is to completely transform the interior. <laughs> no clue what he's doing. I don't. Un I don't understand. Why? This is progress. Oh! <laughs> you okay? Hey, okay, easy, bud. Easy. Go for it. See? You're dropping buttons. I'm not doing you, it on you purpose. That, you did that on purpose. No. Bro, you know what this is? Nope. This is a steering wheel remote control what? for your a stereo. Steering, wait, did it say stereo or steering wheel? Steering wheel for your stereo. So this is a strap that goes here and it attaches to your steering wheel. And now you have volume up and down. Was that from the 60s? And or no, this was like built like in the early 2000s. I used to install these things. Yeah, ancient technology. Do you guys know what this interior is gonna look like when it's done? As long as it looks better than this. Hey! Oh! Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hey, stop breaking it, stuff. It broke itself. It was already broken. We have the dash, e-brake console, center console, the driver's seat, both the door cards, the hood for the gauge cluster, and another part of the center console. Passenger seat. Ah. Uh. And the steering wheel. Hey! Quit. We're not using this. This is not going back in the car. It's ugly. This? That's not it. This is terrible. Who's buying a Ferrari with this? That guy. That's who. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> no faith? Oh, I have faith in you, but this isn't a junkyard. This is a garage. Belleza! Oh. What's up, dog? Fresh up back from Puerto Rico, huh? Yeah, man. I still taste the mofongo in my mouth. <laughs> this is TJ's car or what? This could be the new throttle. <laughs> oh. oh. We're not here about that. <laughs> <laughs> They're all clowning me. It's not so bad. Yeah, just a good little, little armor on. I'll date it. Some trim black. Yeah. Trim black. <laughs> just the whole thing. That's my middle name, dog. No, no, no. <laughs> Since Ferrari comes from Italy, I yes. figured it was only right to bring out the big boys from Italy. Yes. Is it like Italy brand? This is, this is genuine Italian. 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 Italian leather for snobbish cars. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. So if this... it's not snobbish, then you can't you rock can. this. You can. More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. For a long time, they really didn't have these type of colors in like the finest, uh, you know, Italian uh, leather. Special. This company, Leave Me Special, has produced some of the finest uh, grains, but with outlandish colors, which is pretty yeah. cool. Wow. Well, should we leak it? I don't know if we should leak the color. Should we? Leak I want to know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Where do you even start? Right. Like trying to pick a color. Right. Do you guys already have a color picked? We out? already have a color picked out. It's <laughs> okay. already on the way. So let me see it. What is it? Right here. Is it this? <laughs> <laughs> the whole yeah. interior Wait, with green is gonna no. Oh, we're repainting the car. Are you gonna see the outside color? You gotta tell me. No, those, you can't. You can't no, tell them everything. everything. Well, you gotta tell me because I can't. This. <laughs> I, like I have it. a rendering. Yeah. Tell me yeah. that is oh, not sick. You can't see that. <laughs> okay. I, okay. So we're going to leave all the interior parts here at SOS Customs to get started on because we have more parts coming to the shop to transform our F-355 into the ultimate Miami streetcar. Ooh, it's here. 
Ah, that's what we've been waiting for. This is it, it's finally here. This is the first ever Liberty Walk kit going on an F355 Spider. We absolutely love the styling and the quality of Liberty Walk kits, so we felt like it would be a perfect addition to this project. Yeah, so this is what I love about Japanese companies. They do things right. So everything's in a nice envelope. The Liberty Walk tape dude, over it. Gotta have the branding, dude. That's how you know. It's official. Serial numbers. Whoa. Oh wow. Instructions. They tell you of exactly how, to cut. how much to cut. So these serial numbers on the parts, which should be on every part, match the serial numbers on the paper. Everything from the packaging to the fitment on the Liberty Walk kits makes this the absolute perfect kit to go onto our Ferrari. Sorry, Vic, you can't drive this one. It's four grand for that front lip. We'll put it on my tab at Harris. We're about to install our Liberty Walk wide body kit on our 90s Ferrari. The first thing I'm going to do is lay some tape down around the areas where I'm gonna cut. And on this one, Liberty Walk actually provided instructions on where we're gonna cut the car. So following these directions, I'll mark my cut lines. We also need to install the front lip first in order to get an accurate fitment on these front fenders. Well, we've taped the front lip on in the location where it's gonna sit once it's final mounted because that lip goes underneath this over fender, as you can see right there. This thing's gonna look badass, huh? It's gonna look sick! And we'll be able to drift it. Drift? <laughs> what do you mean, drift? Drift. What do you mean, drift? After measuring twice, it's now time to pull out the body saw and start cutting into this Ferrari. I'll start by cutting the front fenders. After that, I'll move on to the back, first fitting the rear fenders, then marking the cut lines before making the actual cut. Now that the unneeded sections of fender are out of the way, I'm using a small hand sander to remove any rough edges and really smooth out the lines. All right, well that's the last rib nut for the kit. Now we can put it on for the final time before it's gonna go off the SOS where it's gonna get body worked and painted. In addition to the front lip and fender flares, the kit also has a duckbill wing and a rear diffuser, and that will complete the kit. You want a class out? <laughs> <laughs> Back to school. Back to school. <laughs> Bro, I'm clocking in. Let's see. I ordered this from Throttle yesterday. Overnight parts from Throttle. Aha! Airlift performance. Right here, very key component. This is the wiring harness for the second air compressor. Airlift 3P. There we go. Now we have to throw on our air suspension system. If you don't know anything about air suspension, you have the management, which is the brains of the system. You pair those to our air struts from JVR Drive Japan and provided by D2 BD Motorworks. It adds another little Japanese flair to our otherwise Italian Ferrari. And not to mention these air struts have 32 click adjustable damping and they're fully height adjustable, which will allow us to completely customize the stance of the car for the wheel and tire package that we've selected for it. And now you guys know time is of the essence and we are racing the clock on this one. So we brought Lorenzo down from Icebox Customs. He's done hundreds and hundreds of air suspension setups and he's gonna lend us a hand to make sure that we don't lose to the clock. I'm real excited that uh, Seamus Tanks shipped us this three gallon tank. If you look here, there's no welds on it and it's all spun oh, yeah. instead of welded. So this is special, so no, no welds, so less chances of leaking. We also have two Vire compressors that we're gonna hook up to our seamless tank and that's gonna allow us to quickly and easily supply air to our air struts. All right, let's get into this thing. We're gonna start by removing the hood because we gotta get to the top of our front struts and also we're gonna be mounting the air system in the front. Having the hood off is also gonna give us access to our front strut tops and allow us to change all four corners at once. All right, our air struts are in on all four corners. Next up, we're gonna start running the airlines. Just 
cut our airline in half. We've got plenty here, so we got really short runs on the front. So we're gonna plug these into our rear air struts and start working our way forward. All right, so we decided that we are gonna marry these two pumps together, butt to butt, and after that, I'm gonna be making a mount for it, and then this tank is gonna go right up here like this. First, I'm going to cut a few spacers out of hollow aluminum tubing to put between the air compressors. They are easily installed with a few pieces of hardware. Now I have the dimensions for the compressor side by side with the spacers, so I can measure and cut out a few plates of steel. I'm going to drill a few holes, then weld them together as a frame to house all the air management parts together. All right, this is what I got so far. I have four holes mounted for the compressors. I have this mount ready for the tank. And right now I'm making the holes so this thing can mount into the Ferrari. So you can literally stand on this and it's not gonna bend. And I still have to fab the bracket for the manifold. A little later. All right, so we have the tank, the compressors, and the manifold is gonna go right here, somehow. That's what I have to do next. A little bit. All right, Brick, you see what I'm cooking here? Yeah. Two plates here, and then we'll tack weld it right there where it is. Yeah, you flip this, yeah. flip this, and the plate, and you're done. Ricky finished the compact air system mount setup, so I'm actually going to disassemble this and paint all of our brackets because they're still raw steel. So let's do it. out of the wiring for our air management system as well as our compressors they make these things super long so that you can use them on pretty much any vehicle it makes it kind of a universal harness we're going to pick up some switched power from the fuse panel and uh, constant power from the battery ground it all out plug it in we should be good to go This is finished, our tank setup is finished, the compressor setup is finished. All we have to do is put it in the car and plug it in, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. So we're gonna get this thing mounted up, but we need to get this thing clean, because look at that. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get this thing cleaned up. Don't worry, I got the vac master right here. This is the beast. What do you think about this vacuum? I mean, it's industrial. Um, Man, I look, just set you up looks all, expensive. all time dad joke and you didn't even take the opportunity. You're supposed sucks. to say it, it sucks! It, um, it sucks a lot. It sucks a lot. I was filming the vacuum cleaner. I didn't even see you put that in. Oh, you on the shot of me putting this in, Vic? Yeah. Compressors going on, doctor. Now that the bracket is fully installed, we can attach the air compressors, the air tank, and the air management system. Once we have all of the wiring and the airlines completely hooked up, the air suspension is ready to test for the first time. We've got everything run loosely just so that we can give it a test start. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the key on and see what happens. So basically we uh, hooked up the, the controller. What I'm doing now is I'm gonna put the air in it. Ready? And we're gonna put air in the back. Okay. So I'm gonna do 100 in the front, and then I'm gonna do like 85 in the back, see where we are. All right, we've got a functioning air system, and now we're going to toss the wheels and tires on, and we're gonna set all the calibrations and stuff like that. Let's see how it goes. So what's gonna happen now? We're gonna lower it down. We're mm -hmm. gonna bring it down to the ground. Look at the back. The oh, back is gonna so be sitting on the ground. Oh my god. Dude, 
Thank you. Of course. You guys killed it. Oh my God. Lunch, lunch is on song, guys. Energy. I don't think it's gonna do it. You guys are hurt. Oh, oh, see you later. Oh, there goes Sean's ID. And it's gone. It's low, but that's crazy. What was the test? He threw his ID underneath, and now it's underneath the car. Can I get my ID up? Nope. It's part of the ship. Part of the crew. Now that the Ferrari is wide bodied and bagged, it's time to get the car down to SOS Customs so we can keep going with this build. Oscar and Saul have a lot of work to do. Here we are, baby. The car finally made it to SOS. It got here way before us, too. What's up? What's up with this thing, man? We're going pink, we're going yellow. What are man, we doing? Pink would be fire. Strawberry red. Strawberry red? Yeah. What? Is that even a color? I should just made that up. <laughs> just go black. Go. Just go hey, black. Like, like the Fast and the Furious. That's what I'm saying. You pull up. And you, you pull up to the super and be like, more than I can afford because the super is <laughs> worth more now. So. Yeah, super's more money. <laughs> All right, we just established the plan with SOS right here. It's gonna be great, dude. We have a lot of work to do, obviously. We're gonna be tagging in here at SOS, getting this car transformed. Oh yeah, you're gonna, gonna see awesome. us here working with SOS. So you guys are gonna have to wait to see that next episode. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment down below on how you think our Ferrari F355 is turning out. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Vocal Pedro.